Hi everyone! I'm so happy you are here with me today to learn more about God and His big plans. We continue our story with David. Now David is the great, 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 great many great grandfather to Jesus, who is the Son of God. And today's story is about friendship. Now, God's people really loved David. They told stories about how great David was. But what made David so great? Does anyone remember? Yes, God, with God's help, David was able to beat the giant Goliath and protect God's people. They were so happy, they even sang songs about him. However, you have King Saul, who was jealous of David. He wanted the people to tell stories and sing songs about him instead. And so, King Saul sent David on many battles, hoping that he would fail. But every time God had helped David win another battle, King Saul became more jealous and more angry with David. Now, King Saul has a son named Prince Jonathan. And unlike his father, Jonathan was kind to David, and he decided to be David's friend. Now, David knew King Saul was angry and jealous of him, and because of that, he was scared. But Jonathan was kind to David and wanted to help him and protect him. He promised David and said, I will help you get away from this jealous King Saul, and I will always be your friend. Now, a friend loves you all the time. So these two friends made a plan. And David found a good hiding spot in the field behind a rock so that he would stay hidden. And he waited. While Jonathan went to have a chat with his dad, King Saul, to figure out if he was still angry at David. And he found out that King Saul was still angry and still jealous of David. So much that he wanted David to be killed. Now well, that's not good news for David. So what do you think Jonathan did? Do you think he kept his promise to David to protect him? Yes, he did. So early in the morning, David, uh, Jonathan went out to the field and took his bow and arrow with him. Now, can you count with me how many arrows he shot? So he shot one, two, three arrows into the sky. And this was a signal to David to run away from the city and hide. And that's what David did. Now, years later, David became the king of Israel. And even after he became king, he never forgot about his friend Jonathan who had helped him and saved his life. Now, let me ask you, who is your best friend? Can you think about their names? I'm sure each and every one of us have good friends and best friends. But let me tell you something. Jesus is the king, and King Jesus decided to be our friend. Jesus loves us all the time. He's loyal and keeps his promises no matter what. He loves us so much that he lived on earth and died on the cross to save our lives forever. And for that, we can be 
very thankful and that we can call Jesus our friend. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for friendship and we thank you for the friendship between Jonathan and David. Thank you for Jonathan for protecting David and saving his life. But even more, we thank you that Jesus chose to be our friend and save our lives. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. For our craft today, we're going to recreate the three arrows Jonathan shot into the sky and remind us what a true friend is. So for this craft, you'll need a few things. You'll need a piece of paper, three twigs or sticks that you find from outside, some crayons or color pencils, and scissors and tape. So first thing, I want you to take your paper and color the three corners of your paper. These will be the tips of our arrows. So color them to triangles. And you can use whatever color you want. I'm choosing these three colors, blue, green, and orange. All right. So once you've colored your corners, now I want you to take your paper and we're going to fold it in half three times. So I'm going to fold it in half once. Make sure you press it down hard so you can see your fold lines. I'm going to fold it in half again for the second time. I'm going to fold it for the last time again in half. All in the same direction. Next. You'll open your paper and you should be able to see your full lines clearly. Alright, so now I want you to take your scissors and get some help if you need it. And we're going to cut the three corners that we colored as the tips of our arrows. And you also want to cut two strips of paper where the lines you folded. And you should get two strips like this. We'll use this to write um, three words. Now the three words we will write is kind, love, and loyal. And you can again use whatever color you want. Um, and write them on your strips. These will be our tails of our arrows. I'm gonna show you one as an example. Okay. And you should have your words like this. After you've done that, all you have to do is cut your tips of your arrows and then we will assemble our arrows. Now to assemble your arrows, you'll need your sticks and the papers that you have cut. To assemble them, all you need to do is tape the tip 
and the tail to your stick with some tape. And again, get some help if you need it. Um, And you should get an arrow like this. Once you've done for all three, it should look like this. And you can put them anywhere in your home, in your pencil holder. And hopefully it will remind you of Jonathan and David's friendship and what a true friend is.